so sometimes you have to act fast typically i don't i don't do any killing or grilling well maybe some grilling on a sunday uh, but i make exceptions so i'm out looking for my cows my cattle dog come with me she don't pay attention to those little things now there's this false um idea that you know baby snakes are more dangerous well that's not wrong um, but the idea is they can't control their their potency or their venom is too potent or something like that it's the same venom it's not stronger because it's younger it's the same damn venom the difference is an adult snake they can give you a dry bite or just a little bit of venom you know the babies don't they just dump it so um yeah the venom glands are not as big so technically they're not as dangerous they're just dumb and scared so they're going to venom dump everything's coming out of the gland um might, might mess your day up so anyways that's that just had to pop those guys real quick it's uh it's not breeding season but you can tell uh cotton mouse and copperheads obviously distinctive um but one of the telltale giveaways of copperheads they're so pretty um is that yellow tail and we'll get a closer look at that here let me make sure i'm not walking into something stupid So, beautiful snake, very good camouflage, stupid dangerous, just stupid dangerous. I got kids and I walk around here all the time and if you're not paying attention and you don't have snake proof boots on, man, she, it, it's a matter of time, you know, you really gotta be careful. Even if you're wearing snake proof boots because they like to get up on rocks. The cotton mouse like to get in trees. If you're walking a, the shoreline of a pond or a little lake out there in the, in the midwest pay attention to what's above you too because i've had them drop down into boats with me i mean they're just kind of it's like surprise so anyway that is all love you mean it stay salty it's a dangerous little water hole